today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add a social network login into Keycloak. The way we're going to achieve this today is by adding an identity provider. So identity providers are social networks or identity brokers that allow users to authenticate to Keycloak. In this example, we want to add the GitHub identity provider. So we'll go to the identity provider tab and select GitHub. So here we see that we need some certain fields that are not uh, in Keycloak. So what I'm going to do is go to, into GitLab and find these fields and populate them in here. So here I have my GitHub account. And the way I came to this page is that I came from here, came to settings, scroll down to developer settings, and that brought me here. And I want an OAuth app because that's what I'm going to be using. And need to register a new application. I'll give it a name of Keycloak demo, say integration app. And this is just a name that you want to be easily recognizable for your own benefit so that you know what uh, application this is in GitHub integration. Right. And then the homepage URL is going to be the one that Keycloak provided. And if you come here, we see that we have this URL here. But if you come into the client, and I'm going to be using this uh, client here, the homepage URL is going to be, if I come here and come into this, this is going to be the homepage URL without the client name itself. So the homepage URL is just the realm and the realm name. So come into GitHub, homepage URL. And then I'll leave this blank. The authorization callback URL is provided by Keycloak as well. So I come back to the identity provider, GitHub. This is the one I want. That's the authorization callback URL. And I registered the application. And now here I see that I have the client ID and I need to generate a client secret. So I'll just copy this, bring it back to Keycloak, client ID, client secret, which I will delete after I do this demo. So no need to worry about that. So client secret, copy this, paste it here. And I leave the rest blank and I add this. So now I have this in here and if you come back into uh, this page, this is a page that the demo uh, realm is going to log into by default. See what I'm in the realms demo and notice there's no GitHub option here. But if I refresh this, now I have the GitHub option here. And so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to log in using my GitHub um, credentials, but let me get rid of this and show you how you can get to that page from here. So you come to your clients. Again, we're using this account console, which is the page I just came from. And I'll just click this URL and I'll say sign in. That brings me here. So I'll say GitHub. And since I was logged in already on this page, you can see it automatically recognizes and asks for or provides that option for me. And I'll say, yes, uh, this is what I want to use. And I'll authorize myself. And now it looks like we have some type of success here. The username, the email, uh, first name, uh, last name, I'll say that. And submit. And now I'm logged in to Keycloak. So if I come to my personal information, and if I look at the token spec element, let's come here to the network. I will just click this, uh, let's see, applications. If I scroll down, applications or account, either one, all I'm looking for is the tokens because I want to see what's in, inside the token. So I come to the header. It's a cookie bearer token. This is the one I'm looking for. And if I dump this in jw.io, this. And if I come in here, I can see my credentials. So my preferred username, my email, code is my first name, family 215. And that's what I entered when I was prompted by the login uh, for Keycloak. So as you can see, now I'm able to log in using uh, GitHub. 